Hey guys, it's Kira. So today I'm going to do my do's and don'ts purchases from the drugstore. So first off, I have BB cream. So I purchased the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. I hated this, honestly. Um, I thought it might be good to try, but it wasn't. It made me break out like crazy. It made my face like 10 times more oily. And it says it does all these things like blur imperfections, enhances, brightens, smooths, hydrates. It does none of those things. So I hate how it just claims to do all these things and just doesn't follow through. So I think that's really stupid. So um, especially if you have oily skin, don't even think about purchasing this. I'm sure you can find better ones. I have not found a better one because this is the first one I tried. So, but still, this sucked. <laughs> I mean, compared to nothing, but it still was horrible. Um, so for powder, don't purchase the NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in All Over Bronze Glow. This is what it looks like. It is like colored chalk. In it, it has sparkles in it. It's disgusting. <laughs> it looks. It just. It has this like reddish orange hue to it. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. So that, that's not something I recommend at all. It says it gets you, like this sun kiss glow. Not at all. Not at all. It's just horrible, horrible product. Instead, I would get the CoverGirl Oil Control Press Powder. Although it's not like darker it's than this. It's still a very great powder and it controls oil so freaking well. It's amazing. So I definitely recommend that. Um, and so for cleansers, I say no to Clean Clear Advantage Oil, oil Absorbing Cream Cleanser. It's not horrible, but it just doesn't do anything. It's not like it makes me break out or anything. It just doesn't do anything for my breakouts, and it doesn't absor absorb oil like it says it does. So, don't recommend that. Instead, I would uh, purchase the Clean Pore Cleanser Slash Mask by Neutrogena. As you guys know, I talked about this in my Target haul, so this is amazing. It lasts forever. So, I just got my second tube, and I think I've had this for over a year. So, I'm... I'm still, I still have a little bit left, um, so it's amazing, I use this like every day, it's great for just an everyday cleanser or a mask, so it's just, it's amazing, and it just stops any breakout, so I love it so much. Then if you guys wear a black eyeliner on your waterline like me, I would not recommend the Revlon Colorstay, six, like, I think it's 16 hour, uh, eyeliner in black. Actually... This might be good for not on your waterline, like maybe on your lash line, because I made this uh, swatch, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like a while ago, and I washed my hands like three times already, and it's still going strong, so I think that's impressive, but not on your waterline. It's pigmented on your hand, it's not pigmented when you put it on the waterline, and it stays on for like a total of five minutes, so it's not good. Um, but I would recommend the Master Drama... Uh, sorry, the Maybelline Master Drama by iStudio in Midnight Master. It just looks like that. Um, so that's pretty good. It stays on for a few hours, but I think eyeliner is a really good thing to invest in versus like anything else because I just wear it every day and my high-end eyeliner just is Urban Decay. The glide on pencils are amazing, but if you're looking for just a drugstore one, then probably the master drama is the way to go. So, and then for eyeshadow palette, um, I heard on a Mac Barbie of Seven video, uh, this was really good for like the fall time, and so I was like, oh sure, you know, like pick, I'll pick it up. I really just did not like it. I had high hopes, and I was just like, no, there's not flattering colors on me at all. It, it looked great on her, but it just maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. They were just way too shimmery for me. The quality wasn't even that great. I don't know, nothing against um, her, but it just wasn't for me. So it's the Maybelline Eye Studio I, like, Eyeshadow Palette in Copper Chick. It looks like that. It's just way too shimmery for me, so I just really don't like that. Um, instead, I, would, I have three palettes that I absolutely love from the drugstore. So I have Physicians Formula, uh, Shimmer Strips, Custom Eye Enhancing Shadow and Liner in Brown Eyes. 
well, four brown eyes. So it just looks like that. It has the most gorgeous colors. I use this shadow, like the gold one at the bottom, a lot. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. So, um, I just, I love it so much. It's amazing. They're super pigmented, and it's just amazing. Um, and then I have the Glam Eyes uh, HD Rimmel London palette in English Rose. I talked about this in my Valentine's Day video. So that's amazing. It's not as pink as you think it is, but it's still amazing. It just looks so flattering on anybody. So definitely recommend that. And then I have the Maybelline uh, eyeshadow. I think it's the eyeshadow quad. I don't know. It doesn't really say. Um, in, in chai latte. Okay. So it looks like that. Again, just really neutral. So. I like a lot of these colors, but I think I said this in my Amazon video, but I don't know. Um, I don't like the lid color at all, but I adore the crease color. That's kind of like um, Naked 2 from the Naked Basics palette, so really good. Well, all three of these are really good palettes to have. So, And then for just lip products, I know everybody is going crazy over baby lips. Not me. I tried, I think it's... Oh, I don't know, it's purple, I think it's like peach, I don't know, it doesn't say on this. So it just looks like that. Um, the color, I don't know, I know it's not really it's supposed to be like amazing color, but, oh, it's, sorry, it's peach kiss. Um, I just found it. Um, it's just, I feel like it doesn't even do anything to make my lips softer. Like, I, I feel like it doesn't moisturize them at all. I just, I really, I was so disappointed, and I... Honestly, I should probably throw it out because I just, I feel like it just sits on my lips and does absolutely nothing and just stays there for like an hour and does absolutely nothing and just dries out. I don't know. I hate this. I I mean, I know people are like flipping over it. I just, I don't know. I really just don't like it. So instead, I love, I love, I love, I love Burt's Bees. So I have the like mint one. It's like beeswax, lip balm, I don't know, I think these are so freaking nourishing and just amazing, they make my lips so soft, and I wear uh, the honey lip balm to bed, oh my gosh, this, it's just, it's the most soothing scent of life, it's so good, so I just, I love these two just so much, um, and baby lips, not so much, um, and so finally for heat protectants, I absolutely hate the Frizzies Heat Defeat Protective Styling Spray. This is my first heat protectant and I I just didn't like it. I couldn't compare it to anything but I just knew it was making my hair so brittle at the ends and I felt like it wasn't even protecting. I mean, I can't say that but it was just making my hair really, really gross at the ends and it would make it really frizzy. I just, I really did not like that. So now I use the Tresemme Thermal Con Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. This is so much better. So I definitely recommend that. And so yeah. So anyways guys, I hope you like this video. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!